Hey everyone, so today I have a empties video for you. So this is all of my empties, so we're just going to go ahead and get started. Um, the first two things I have are these Clorox disinfecting wipes. I have two of these. Um, I go through these like crazy. Um, they're very um, good for like cleaning around the house and just like wiping down counters and like cleaning the bathroom and stuff so I just I go through all these all the time and I buy the big pack that you can get at like Costco or BJ's or wherever um, so I got citrus blend is the yellow one and the green one is fresh fresh scent I don't know I can't say that all right um this is the Crest 3D White Luxe Multi-care whitening rinse in glamorous white. This is alcohol free. This is not the best tasting mouthwash. If you're looking for like a very like minty fresh breath, this is not it. This is a whitening rinse. It's just gonna make your teeth a lot whiter. Um so I use this all the time. I don't really like the taste of it, but I want my teeth white, so I always buy this. Um this is the Glade um, Rim Spray in Be Edgy Coconut Water and Freesia. This is from the Spring Collection. Like I said before in other empties videos, I go through these all the time because I have a dog and I like the fresh clean scent. So I use those all the time. And I usually just like get whatever one is on sale. It doesn't matter if it's like Febreze, Glade, whatever. I just get the cheapest. Um, this is the Too Faced Tinted Beauty Balm. I actually just finished this up just a few minutes ago when I was putting on my makeup. Um, this is like a tinted moisturizer. It's very like lightweight and it's not very heavy which is nice for like the spring and summer. Um, this is in the shade Nude Glow which is the third shade in the line. There's Vanilla Glow, Cream Glow, Nude Glow, and Beach Glow. So, um, I opened this up. It was a little dark, but um, it does blend nicely. So, even though I have like super fair skin, this did blend very well. And like I said, it's not very um, full coverage. So, I still, still had to um, deal with covering up my acne with concealer and stuff so I'm not sure how I feel about this yet um, like I said I just put it on so I guess I'll see how it wears throughout the day and decide whether I want to get this in full size or not but like I said it's a nice lightweight coverage tint of moisturizer for the summer months um, the Neutrogena alcohol free toner I've had this in like every empties video I'm not even going to discuss that This is the Equate Beauty Regular Nail Polish Remover. This is compared to Cutex. What you do with this is you, um, there's like a sponge in here and you dip your fingers in here when you're like taking off your nail polish. Oh, there's like a little bit in here, but it's the pad like. You can hear the liquid a little bit, but the pad um, is very like dry feeling, and it's, I have a hard time taking off my nail polish now beca um, because there's not that much liquid in here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of this, just because it's more of a pain in the butt to use this now than before. But this is good if you're like in a hurry and you're trying to change your nail polish. Um, I hate taking off nail polish remover. So, I like this stuff because you just dip your finger in, swirl it around, and it comes right off. Um, this is the Healthy Sexy Hair Soy Tri Wheat Leave In Conditioner. I love this stuff. Um, it's a little pricey. You can find it at Target and Ulta. This is like $17. Um, but I take it, when I take a shower, my hair is still damp. I let it towel dry for a few minutes and then when it's still damp I 
take it out of the towel, brush through it, and then spray this in my hair. So I love this stuff. This is the Bath and Body Works um, Antibacterial Deep Cleansing Hand Soap in Pumpkin Caramel Latte. Um, I've had this for a long time. I just wanted to use it up. The scent was really nice. Yeah, it's super sweet and very, um, like, coffee scented, sort of, with like a little bit of pumpkin. So, if you like this, um, if you like pumpkin scents, you should look for this in the fall time at Bath and Body Works because this was really nice. And the candle's really good too, by the way. Um, here's another Glade scent. This is in the Winter Collection. This is Spread Cheer Amber and Bergamot. This was not my favorite scent, but it was okay. So, um, this is a bag of treats that my dog finished up. This is the Milo's Kitchen Homestyle Dog Treats, the Steak Grillers recipe with Ingus Steak. Um, she liked these okay. Um, these are not her favorite treats. Um, I think I have a bag of her favorite treats in the box, but these are not her favorite. And the ones that she likes is kind of difficult to find, so we either have to order it online or we used to have a BJ's member membership which is where we bought her favorite treats and we don't have a BJ's membership anymore because they just built a Costco where I live at and Costco is closer to where we live or closer to our house so um we got the Costco membership and got rid of the BJ's membership and the dog treats that she likes is at BJ's so we either have to order it online or renew our BJ's membership next year so for the time being we bought these and she liked them okay I mean they're not her favorites but this is the Aussie three minute miracle moist deep hair conditioner um I got the moist it says moist yeah I got the moist um because uh, I have very dry hair so I need a lot of moisture back in my hair I hate that word moist okay um, I have two Vitafusion sleep well uh, sugar-free gummies these are melatonin gummies these are for adults um, these work really well. Like I said before, I've had trouble sleeping ever since I was a little kid, and I'm almost 28. So um, I get these at Target. They're like six or seven dollars, and I had to buy a new kind recently because Target ran out of these, and I needed something, so I had to get another brand. But I finished these two up, and like I said, I really like these. So if you have trouble sleeping, go to Target and get those. Um, this is the Crest 3D Wet Luxe Glamorous White Toothpaste. This goes with the mouthwash that I showed earlier. Um, there's like a little bit left in here, but it's not enough to get out of the, like if you squeeze, there's nothing comes out, but like there's a little bit left in there. Um, I really like this stuff. I have gone through multiple tubes of these and I've already bought more so this is the up and up cotton rounds the regular kind this is just like the little circle cotton rounds you buy at Target I got like a big pack of them and I think this is the last pack so I have to go get more um, I use this all the time for like nail polish remover or like toner or just other random stuff so this is the 
Neutrogena Triple Moisture Deep Recovery Hair Mask. I've used this since it came out in when I was in like high school. Um, yeah, the smell just like takes me back to high school because I think that's when the line came out and I've used it off and on ever since. I really love it and I kind of quit using it for a while when um, the hype was going around about the Aussie three minute miracle. But um, yeah, I love this stuff and I'll continue to repurchase it probably off and on for the rest of my life as long as I keep making it. This is the YSL Volup Tint in Oil. This is like a oil lip treatment thing. It was like an oil base, but it had like, it like tinted your lips. Um, it's in number five, Cherry My Cherry. I really like this stuff. It was a very um, sheer color when you were putting it on, but it turned like a very like bright pink color, as you can see in the model on the picture. She has a very like bright lip. Um, that's the color it looked like, and if you can see right there, you can see how like dark and bright it is. But I really like this stuff and. I was going to purchase this full size, but it's kind of like pricey. It's like 30 something dollars for like a lip gloss thing. So maybe one day, but it was a nice sample. I have um, the Daisy Marc Jacobs fragrance sampler. One side was... Um, this side is Daisy, and I already have Daisy full size, so I didn't need to test that out. But this one is, this side right here is Daisy Dream. You can't really smell it anymore, and I used this a long time ago, so I don't really remember what it smelled like. To me, it just smells like a not a strong version of Daisy, so which is my dog's name. <laughs> and she's behind the camera sleeping on the couch. All right, I have three Benefit Professional samples. I really like the Professional. Um, I want to get it in full size eventually, but I really uh, like it when I can use the samples of it. So I go through those very quickly. Um, this is the Airborne Vitamin C gummies. Um, I was sick back in January when I was in LA, like California. Well, I wasn't just in LA, but we were taking a trip to California and I actually got sick in San Jose, but whatever. Um, yeah, I started feeling really bad one night while we were the, in California, and I went to Target really late at night and bought these. Um, they're just like orange flavored gummies. They remind me of, um, orange slices. If you've ever had orange slices, that's what they taste like, so. All right. Here is my dog's favorite treats, like I mentioned earlier. These are the Canine Naturals Natural Chicken Bites. They look like this. They come in this big bag. And there's 650 in a bag. They're just like little circle treats. She loves these. She could like goes crazy if you like pull out this bag. In fact, if she probably saw me holding this bag, she'd probably think there was a treat in here. Um, she just, like, goes crazy and starts, like, dancing and jumping around. So, she really loves these. And, like I said, they're kind of hard to find. So, we're probably going to have to 
She has, we have tried a bunch of other treats and so far she hasn't really liked anything other than these. She's been kind of picky about it. So probably just going to have to end up ordering these online. Um, Neutrogena makeup remover cleansing palettes. I go through these like crazy all the time too, so I'm not going to talk about that. This is the Bath and Body Works Nourishing Hand Cream in Twisted Peppermint. I've had this for a really long time and I love the Twisted Peppermint scent and this was, my hands are very like really dry. To the point where like if I go to bed it starts annoying me and I can't sleep until I put like some kind of lotion on um, this was a very this would probably be very moisturizing for like a normal person but like I said my hands are extremely dry that this didn't work but if you just have like somewhat dry hands it would probably work but this didn't work at moisturizing my hands, but I like the scent. Um, the Organics Nourishing Nourishing Coconut Milk Shampoo and Conditioner. I've used the Organics line for a long time, and the Coconut Milk Shampoo and Conditioner smells extremely like coconuts that smells like straight up coconuts and I mean it was very nourishing but I right now I'm using a better shampoo and conditioner from Pantene and I kind of like the Pantene one better but I like the organic line so um this is the Crest Complete Uh, toothpaste with scope. This is in the minty fresh liquid gel. Crest with scope. Um, this was a toothpaste I've used since high school and I like it but I like the 3D white one better. So this is a love with food chapstick. It's just like a plain chapstick. It worked. There's nothing really to say about chapstick. This is the Wish Body Butter in Lavender. I'm not a huge lavender scented person. Um, it's okay. It's not my favorite scent. Um, this wasn't that great of a body butter. And it was not enough of a sample to cover your whole body. I think I got my legs out of this whole bottle. Um, Bath and Body Works Pocket Back and Candy Cane Bliss. It smells like candy canes. Um, Peter Thomas Roth Anti-Aging Cleansing Gel. It's a basic face wash. It was orange. It worked. I mean, it didn't like clear my acne or anything, but it was a nice face wash. All right, we got two perfumes or two perfume samples. Bath and Body Works Forever Red. You can see that it says Forever Red. You may not be able to see that. And this is C by Chloe. It says it on the top. This you just like pull apart and then you like pour it on your wrist. This is like actually a spray. I like both of these scents. Um, my favorite is the C by Chloe. This reminds me of like elementary school for some reason and I don't know why. And I'm looked at the notes when I first got it and when I smelled it the first time I knew exactly that it reminded me of elementary school and that night I like googled the notes in the perfume and there was like nothing special in this perfume that would like 
remind me of something, but it reminds me of middle school for some reason, and I don't, or like elementary school, and I don't know why, but I love it, and I want it in full size. And last but not least is the contacts that I use. I went through a whole pack. This is the Air Optics Night and Day Contacts. So if you want to know what contacts I wear, that's the brand. This comes with six lenses. So and if you want to know my prescription. That's my prescription on the side. So, um, I used to use another con brand of contacts, and I don't remember that brand. And then last year I switched to this brand, and I like this brand better. And yeah, so, anyways, that is all of my empties. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.